Welcome back guys, and we're here with more 5 kill and uh, as a stand, and, well like today while I'm recording, uh, the new cards have came out. I haven't made it. The cards are good, but I don't think anything's game changing. I'm more excited about the lands, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, so I mean, there's no change if you made the deck, but if you see new, if you see new cards across from me, don't be too surprised. I'm playing Mr. Sling Wuffrecht Ein 7, so let's see what he's doing. <laughs> I kept this hand because I've got to think twice, I've got uh, Angry Guards all playable, so if he is fast, and he is using the new lands. It's basically, you've got the try lands for every single colour now, that's that's really how it works. <laughs> nothing, nothing else really, I mean, I do like that, because I mean, there's, I think, what was my, Absand, the, like, the Absand has now got that, Sultai has now got try lands, stuff like that's really nice, and, uh, don't even really know which one I needed to play there, but, you know. No fast lands yet, which is kind of sad, but I mean, I'll be thinking twice in this turn. So this guy could be playing a lot of things. He's blue, red, white, which could be... It's an interesting combo. And he taps off for a guard goal Mazo, which is just anger of the gods fodder. And I see a cultivate, which is pretty nice. That's definitely what's coming out next turn. Just need to see what lands I need. Which, to be honest, I think as I've got three tri lands out, it really doesn't matter. Well, there's a fourth cultivate, so I'm just going to grab lands randomly. I need a second blue, and I need a second white. Immediately, what I, immediately what I know I can see there. I'm not worried about this guy by this wall whatsoever. Second blue and second white. So we can play Fusion ML next turn, but with this wall up, I really see no point. Well, that could play and then anger the gods, but I, I, I want to get rid of more than that one wall. But if he's if he's just going to sit there doing nothing, well, okay, I've got anger the gods. <laughs> Reason to do that now. That's a, that's a fair trade for me. Two three drops. Is this guy 5 colour? Because that's a new land. Nope. Forgot you can't zoom on your opponent's land unless it's on the top. Nomad Outpost. Okay. Red, white. Is that just this? Yeah. He's, no, he's got two different lands. So, just trying to see what colours he's playing. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, zoom in. Okay. So, red, white, black, blue, I think, so far. Red, white, black, blue. Yeah. So, he's just missing green at the minute. Well, first things first, I'll just angle the guards right now. Take out his board. I mean, I could. I'm gonna play a fast land as well, just so I can cultivate and thin out some more lands. Really doesn't matter what I get. I'm just gonna get black and a green. Yeah, I know. I've got another double red. And yeah, so we pretty happy. Fusion Realm will be able to come out next turn. Cause Lex not even that far off, to be honest. I do love the new lands. Uh, it's what's it? Kinds of talk here. Yeah. I get there's the, one of the new cards, I can't remember the name, it's uh, you get to put a number of plus one plus one counters on uh, your creatures, and that card has absolutely destroyed me in my paper magic days, so <laughs> I'm going to get, well that for one is a bizarre, well first things first I think just going to cast this guy because it'll scare him off, play tap land and then Elvis Visionary, yeah I mean I'm looking forward, I mean my eye will just twitch every time I see that card. But you can't really abuse it as well as you could in uh, other formats. Like there's a lot of cards which get benefit for having counters on them. And uh, yeah, but we'll just, <laughs> we'll just keep quiet about that. And uh, this guy taps out for a captain of the watch, which makes his thing a lot more scary actually, because it's gonna be like six six. Yeah, kind of wish I had my other anger. I had to anger that turn to be honest. But uh, hmm. I mean, cause like I think can come out this turn. No, I'm one mana off, but I mean, I can think twice a bunch. If he wants to trade, like, loads of creatures here, I'm absolutely fine with that. He kind of has to jump block, I think, doesn't he? 2, 4, 6, 9. I mean, I'm going to jump block his Crusader, so... I'm going to think towards main, first main as well, just to see if I can get, like, another blocker or anything like that. And I get a miss from Archangel, so... Glad I did that. <laughs> And yep, pass turn. You can get Kozlak like out for free if we're lucky. He'll keep his captain of the watch back unless he's got removal. I think... Yeah, he kind of has to try and kill my Mercer Mark Angel right now. Otherwise, I mean, casting Kozlak for free is just devastating. You know I can cast him next turn anyway. Ground Assault, I mean, I, I could even just cast that for free instead and then cast Kozlak. Well, that would just be stupid. Uh, See if he's got a response. Because this is going to allow me to think twice loads as well from my graveyard. 
He has to block. Yep, he's going for the trade, he is. I'll take that. Because I'm getting a Kozlek out next turn. I mean this turn, actually. And yeah, I love this combination. He could counter it, I guess, but... He doesn't, I got an anger of the guards, and he got the nullify, but I drew the card, so the damage has really been done. I'm not going to anger this turn, I don't think. I don't really see the need. Because he's, I took out the things I was scared of. Might see if he's got another one or something like that, and then just draw a bunch of cards this turn. I really don't mind if this gets exiled, so I will just play this again. And I'm just going to think twice a bunch. Unfortunately, my library did get shuffled, so I'll him think twice as I gone. And, uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yeah, I'm not going to, uh... I'm just going to think twice, twice from my hand this turn. Instead of playing the Cult of it and think twice and once. He did get rid of my <laughs> cause life, which is sad. But, you know, we got we got rid of a hell of a lot of creatures for him. We got an Anger the Gods out of it. It's why it's, it's, why it's better than, uh, Dark Seal Cult He's going for the all-out attack right now, I mean. I'll just block that down, and uh, if I'm going to be ang potential anger next turn, I mean, I'll just double block a token. I don't mind about that. But he's, he seems to be out of gas. Fortunately, we've really got nothing we particularly want to cast right now. For free in my hand. So I'm just, I mean, what do I get? I just probably just cast the Kozlek -like for free? I forgot to think twice as well, which is awful. I'm a bad human being, and I do apologise. I should have definitely have think twice twice as well to see if I could get another bomb. I've just completely misplayed that last turn and a half, so uh, forgive me for that. On the bright side, we've basically thinned out every land in my deck right now. Um, I, yeah, again, I don't think I need to... Uh, particularly need to... He's down to two, so I don't really need to uh, uh, anger the gods yet. Got ground us off, he casts a really big scary creature. Voyage's end is going to buy him a turn. I mean, I could think twice and look for a counter lash, but uh, I, don't, I mean, if I draw a counter lash now, I'm gonna look like an idiot. But I uh, highly, highly doubt I see a counter lash, he's down to one card in hand. I mean, I do, I mean, I think I'll still only get one chance of drawing the counter lash. I'm not gonna miss this trigger this time, I was too busy talking. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate this game. It just, it just did that to spite me there. It was the top one as well. I wouldn't have been able to cast it if it was... <laughs> you guns. You bastards. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's quality right there. <laughs> game just absolutely troll. Oh, he's got another fire. I mean... You know, I'm just going to counter lash that. I'd rather get the Maelstrom Archangel on the field. I mean, I could counter lash for free. I mean, if I counter lash. No, I mean, that, that'd, be, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I was debating counter lashing my uh, Maelstrom Archangel, but that would just be crazy. Alright, so now he needs a removal spell. And he's, he needs a top deck a removal spell as well. Two counter lashes off the Dowsers. That was quality. <laughs> I could have won the game a turn ago if I hadn't there. Uh, if I had think twice there, I was just, just 35 cards in my deck. I was sure not one of them. The top one was not going to say uh, counter lash. And then the second one was just the nail in the coffin. But yeah, this guy's attacking it. I'm not going to block. I'll, I'll block with a wall. But uh, just in case he's got like, I don't know, he could have like inspired charge. That's something I could think of. Let's see what he'd help. Does he play his last card? Or is he just gonna? He could be. He, he could. I don't know what he could have top deck. But another voyage's end off the top. That's kind of steaming my beans. Well, he's got zero cards in hand, so I can play two creatures. I'll probably just anger the gods as well this turn as well. I've had enough. All right. This because it's got a vision. This because it's just fun. And then anger the gods right now. Just get rid of his blockers. Just put the nail in the coffin. I should have had this done two turns ago. <laughs> but, you know, we, we got there. Unless, I don't know, uh, playing the cleansing or anything, I could t think he could top deck. And he top decked a god Gomazo, which isn't enough. 
GG. And, uh, yeah. Completely lost my train of thought, thought after that. But, uh. We got there, I mean, that was a... Kind of, I mean, he's, he's testing out the new mana bases, I'm guessing. He's probably running some of the other new cards as well. I do like... That's one thing I will say. I do like how the how they've like went about trying to amend the disaster that the early, the early game in this was the, the whole pay to win sort of thing because i mean it, it was pay to win if you, if you don't think it was pay to win try playing blue oh he's back so that's a game too uh if you don't think it was pay to win try and play mono blue without any of the old premium cards and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know because i mean that was an absolute night well this hand is i don't hate it actually i really don't hate it. i'm gonna keep it it's stupid but i like it it's got loads, it's got all my mana, it's got two card draw, I mean. He's changed, has he changed deck? Because that would have been a very fast change deck if he has. I'm going to play Sir, uh, does it really matter? I'm going to play Savage Lands. Wall of Omens is a pretty nice draw as well. Mr. Sling, Woodfoot, Ein 7. Now he's kept deck, that's it. I like it when people come back and they don't change decks. Because I always get really paranoid that they're just going to counter deck me. Most people don't, but I mean, uh, there was 2014 where if you were playing like uh, Dodge and Burn, they'd switch to what's it called? The, the deck that says has a card that says you have hexproof. <laughs> that just said game over at that point. And if you were playing, there was one time I was playing Slivers, and uh, what happened? A guy he was he switched to uh, Dragons, and Dragons has that card that's like creatures can't attack you unless you unless they've got flying. And that that that's just game over. Like it it just says game over against against you. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing as dramatic in this game. I don't think. I think the worst thing that could happen is if you're playing like spiders and then uh, someone, uh, what's it called? Someone like put like two, all three, or all, all two uh, stuff of the past in the deck. It's really the only thing that could happen. But uh, this guy's up to four mana. And uh, he drops a mentor with Meek, which is probably going to get ground assaulted. Because that thing is terrifying. And uh, draws him a million cards. So yeah, that's that's my next turn. I don't have the other mana, so never mind. I lied. I don't have the second green. If I'd played the Seaside Citadel, I would have. So, my mistake. But then again, I wouldn't be able to play Wrong Swarm Monk. So, I mean... You know, I mean, it, hopefully he doesn't drop, like, a Raise the Alarm or something here. That would, that would suck. Well, he's not. Is he running what? He has got white, so yeah. Just need to get my head around these new new, new trilands. Just reading that flavor test. Well, oh, the thing doesn't scare me at all. I mean, it does. It does stop me getting life, which is kind of regrettable. But Let's see, I'm only gonna let him draw one card with that, and then. <laughs> nah, I think I think we've. I think we've got the stronger board right now. I'd love to ground assault the. God Gomez are, but that can come later. <laughs> I know. I think I'm just going to kill to kill this and swing all out because I mean, if he does block a one-one and tr kills it, then I'll gain three life and hit him for three, which I'm fine with. He's thinking, so I mean, he could have what God's willing, Swift Justice. They're the only things I can think of, and he's past her. Well, Cloud Shift, obviously. Uh, so yeah, let's just go for it. Ground Assault. He does not have a way to protect it, that's good. Now we will swing in for five, but probably only take two or four here. I mean, personally, I'd just keep locking this thing down, I'm not worried about the two life return. Yep, that's the right play, in my opinion. <laughs> and then I'll play a Wall of Omens. Even though really he's not offering much attacking, I just might as well get it on the field. Pretend I drew the land from it, Bane's there next turn is always good. <laughs> Could have cultivated as well, but I mean, Bane is definitely the play. If he taps out of counter mana, because I know he's running counters actually. And there we go, Rabble Master, interesting. Good thing about Rabble Master is that it's really, really bad against Bane Slayer, because <laughs> the tokens have to attack in, and Nimbus Wings. Ah, uh, good, good. Okay, so he's really overcommitted on that one card. And he's tap completely tapped out of mana, so I mean, he'd have to have removal of some sorts. So, I mean, I could attack in. Well, there's really no point attacking in now, actually. Yep, he's hitting me for one. No, he's not, actually. 
For some reason I thought because he gave the Robin Master flying it would give these flying. But uh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, look. so I haven't actually taken damage yet, which is always good. Can I do both? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, down to three, four. No, I can't do both. So yeah, Ben said this has to come out here. That's kind of sad. But I mean, then again, it's never really sad to cast a paint sir. And uh, no profitable attacks this turn. And then just pass it to him, and uh, if he doesn't have a response, I'm going to gain 5 life. I mean, what could he get over Voyager's end? You know, he's running them. But then, uh, I think that would tap him out of his blue. No, he's got blue and Mystic Monastery. Voyager's end is the only thing I'm really worried about in his reprisal as well, but. Crusader of Odric is going to be re decently big. Yeah, it's going to be decently big. Could still have that Voyager's End, which would really suck right now, actually. But luckily, he doesn't. Well, he could still have it. Just be waiting. I don't think he would have let it go this far, though. So I think Bane says going to be able to block my Wrong Swarm Monk. I'm going to gain 8 life this turn. This is this is like one of the very few times that uh, Realm Master is not a fantastic card. Because it's, it's just. He would. He's. Losing so much, yeah, I'm up to 28. Taking out two tokens as well, I mean. Bits they're kind of attacking while this thing's there, though. The guard gomers, though, well, so. All my creatures are basically on defense right now. I'm, I'm going to just be gaining loads of life. Uh, I think I'm just going to just take this turn to just ramp, man, ran, blah, 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 blah. Mana, ran, mana ramp up loads. Gonna. Didn't play the Arcane Sanctum because I can. Well, he's negating, I mean. Fair enough. I suppose what else are you going to negate in my deck? Apart from, apart from counter spells, I mean, he, he saw I was running counter lash. I mean. How much mana am I on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I am a bit off Kozilek. Would have been able to get Kozilek out, actually. That's a good decision on his part. But all the, <laughs> He really doesn't want to be able to attack here right now. It's just giving me so much time to just draw the mana naturally. Up to 33, yeah. This he, he should be, to be honest, he should be just getting rid of that Rabble Master right now. That's what I normally do when I'm in this situation. I'm just attacking it with it. And uh, maybe they think I don't have tricks up. Well, there's my turn sorted. I still can't attack, can I? No, I, just, I can't attack in. Because he just blocks down Vince there with the God Gomez well, So I'm just kind of waiting for a anger of the gods or something like that. Hmm. I bet if I did, th I bet if he like does play Voyager's End, I'd think twice trying to get the counter lash. Two, four. I might actually do that if he tries to play a creature. I'll think twice and try and find the counter lash this turn. Nah, I mean, look, look at this life gain though. I mean, this guy, he really needs to uh, do something about this. If I was running Sovereign, he'd be in deep trouble. Well, we didn't see a counter lash off the top. Highly doubt he doubt he doesn't. He's negating a thing twice, wow. Absolutely fine with that. Negate again, Jesus. That's like the, the least of all the cards in this entire game. The one you want to negate at least is think twice. Because you just get it straight back. You could have another one, but uh. Oh, that's kind of. Uh, well, it slowed me down, I guess, but. Genesis Hydra. Uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll be casting it for 6. I really like to get it out for 7 because then I can get Shodron's Rune Scar Demon. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait a turn on this. It's definitely advantage me right now. <laughs> I've just seen all the Think Twices in like consecutive rolls. Haven't shuffled correctly. <sighs> My bad. Hopefully I see a land. There we go, Savage Lance. Could have done out the graveyard, actually I forgot about my dark ceiling yet, my bad. Uh, well I've got an Inferno Titan for next turn if he taps out, but uh, he just blew all his counter spells there that I really... Well they were negate, so they really wouldn't have done much anyway, but... He's down to one card in hand, Crusaders, still not doing anything. I mean, I'm guessing he's trying to get enough creatures that he can go f attack past Bane's there, but... Honestly, Inferno Titan's just going to kill his wall right now. That's the plan. And then, uh. I should just be able to break down these walls. And then, uh. Because th they'll make this. They'll make this 
Odrex Muller as well. I mean, he's down to one card. I highly, I mean, I doubt it says like dissolve. That's all I'm gonna say. Or Nick or nullify. But e either way, even if he does dissolve the Inferno Titan, I get to Genesis Hydra the turn after. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that one card doesn't say what I think it says. Good. Okay. Creatures. This thing. Creatures. This thing. And creatures. This thing. Take out his wall, and now, if God's willing, <laughs> he missed the trigger. It's really bad for him, actually. Yeah, that sucks for him right now. I do, I do know his, his card says God's willing, though, and he can't. Yeah, he, that mistake was too much for him, I think, at that point. I can give Ben a double strike next turn as well. Which really doesn't do much, actually, because it's already got first strike. Yeah, I'm just going to think twice this turn and then uh, see what happens. He can uh, he can hit me in the air now, I mean, with his... But if he does if he does that, then I would just play the Rafik. If he, if he gets rid of his flying blocker. Oh, no, he's, he locks in and gain the life. I mean, this guy kind of did shoot himself in the foot by not... He should have got rid of that Rob Master a long time ago. Even though I did make a couple of mistakes, That's, that was the biggest one in the match, and I missed. I, ge I generally just missed Think Twice. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not that great at first-person shooters. <laughs> well, I, I really don't see much going on here. I mean, I might as well just get out Kozlak. Because I can't really do anything else. I mean, he's, if he's got the counter, he's got the counter. He doesn't have the counter. I didn't get my Bane Fire, but I got Mango of the Guards, which is just going to be game at this point. You know what? Wrong Small Monk might as well come in as well. Take out Crusader. And then he's going to have to block this down. Then we should just win next turn. And. Yeah. I do. I probably, I mean, the, in my opinion, and this is going completely back, in my opinion on the new cards, and ignore the fact I'm on 59 life, but uh, my opinion on the new cards is that they're good cards, but they're not like, you don't build a deck around them, like, for instance, in this deck you've built a deck around, like, Maelstrom Archangel and stuff, in this deck you don't, you don't really, the good, the good cards are the slot into, I'm, the, I'm more happy about the Trilands, and uh, Confuse hit me for 5 here, and uh, I'm almost dead, I don't think I can recover. I should have blocked the token, by the way. <laughs> but I'm really not worried. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to cast the Genesis Hydra, see what I get, just because I always love to do that. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you all know by now. Who knows? I mean, maybe I could get, like, I don't even know. I should see something good. And we see a negate, no five, fair enough. That's why I love the Genesis Hydra, though, because you still get the big threat. Like, bang. Maelstrom Archangel on the field for free. Still doesn't do much because he's he's completely screwed here. It's gonna direct this at his face. Planeswalker, planeswalker, and planeswalker. And I think that is that at this point. Uh, standard turn as I was on 59 life. That's more than my Abzan life gain deck was at. But I mean that that guy he was the, the master is what he, he needed to get there before I got to late game after that. For, he knew my, he knew what my deck did after that first game. It stalled to late game. And he just gave me so much life that there was no way he'd be able to beat my late game. But yeah, so a bit of a service announcement on the new cards. Like I said, I mean, I'll, I'll guess I'll show them up now, but I mean, I'm sure you've all seen them. A lot of you are better players at the game than me. Card collection. They're just kind of like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give my small opinion on them, but that's really not my humble opinion anyway. Uh, card packs, there we go. I'm really bad at spotting them out. Uh, da, 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 da. There's, there's the lands. I mean, I'll just ignore the lands. Just, there's try lands in every colour now. Oh, they kindly put them all at the bottom, how nice. Uh, so we got, this is the, I don't know, I can't remember all the tri names, but this is blue, red, what he... I don't particularly like this guy. <laughs> he's 5 mana and he's a 3-3 three, three and he just gets a non-creature, non-land. So he's like a worse treasured find for free, basically. Or like, he's like a grave digger. No, not even a grave digger. It's like, 
a worse Archaeomancer. There we go. So that's my opinion on this guy. He's, he's got a bigger body behind him. But uh, apart from that, I don't really like him. Who else we got? We got the... I'm, I'm not even going to try and remember the tri triple colours, but... Uh, this guy I do actually quite like. For f a 5-4 five, 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 four, four, five is alright. And you choose which creature can't block. So I mean, the, maybe there's a potential for... The thing with aggro decks though is it's really hard to get them right with tricolour, but... Who knows, I mean, I might, I might be tempted for this guy. And this is the card I was talking about, Armament Corpse. I hate this card, it ruined my life in Paper Magic. I hate it. Uh, I like I like it though. I mean, it'd be... I imagine... See, I'd love to build, like, a, a tokens, like, counter deck. But there's really nothing in black which benefits from that, so I don't know. Just leave it at that, and then uh, scroll down a bit more. Soothsayer is going to be really good in self-mill and uh, mill decks in general. Yeah, and then, uh, what was I going to say? It's pretty good, though. It's like, it's like a, I'd say it's a better Wayfinder. Because, well, obviously it should be better for it, because it's 5 mana. It's a nice body as well, which I think is good, but... You get you, so if you need the land, you just get the land, but if you want a threat, it's pretty good to draw, and it's a good to draw, draw and play at any time in the match. It's probably my favourite of the cards that have been released, and uh, finally, Bear's Companion, which is another potential token deck, which I mean, I might do sometime. If I was going to build a token deck, it would be in these colours, because I'd run like Chasm Skulker, and that with Dublin Season would just be absolutely insanity. And then, uh, yeah, you get, he puts a full full bear on the field, which is always good. Then uh, two two four fours for five mana is not bad if you had double season out, but I don't know. I'll see what I see see what I feel like. But yeah, other than you can't. I'm not even gonna go through them all. You got all the all the triple lands, but yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow.